We are here with the number one contender for the light. For, we were the number one contender in the heavyweight division, Francis Naganu. Uh, Francis, uh, it is so good to see you. Uh, congratulations on that win last week. Is that how you envisioned that fight going, that you would catch Junior in the first round? Um, first of all, thank you. But uh, I thought that could happen. That would be that was uh, an option. But you know, uh, since my fight against TP, I uh, I didn't. I can, I'm not allowing myself now to just envision the fight in the first round. I left every uh, door open and imagine that he can go until the fifth round. But uh, I knew that could happen in the first round. But definitely. How much do you credit this turnaround in your career to being in Vegas and, and being here full time and getting to work at the PI? I know you've really moved things over to the, to the United States and I, I feel like uh, you're getting a different training over here. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, that's what I should have done. Uh, two years ago when I moved out here uh, so to get people uh, allowed you know allowed my allowed people to help me surround myself and then be uh, ready to go you know uh, we are in the sport that uh, sometimes opportunity can just uh, you can uh, just uh, comes like that and you have to be ready and uh, I didn't do that I did the mistake to uh, not consider that before, but now I understand a lot of things about the business. I heard you own a house now that was owned by ESPN journalist Brett Okamoto, and I heard you were sending him his bills. Uh, did you know that? When did you find out that you had bought the same house as him? Uh, I, I'm not sure if you're allowed to break up that kind of information. Well, no, no, he, uh, he he posted it on Twitter. He mentioned that he he uh, that you owned the house that he used to be in. Yeah. Yes, that's a pretty uh, big coincidence, I would think. Yes, I saw the UFC poster in the uh, garage, and then um, the um, the realtor uh, told me he was uh, the guy working for the ESPN. And then I'm like, I might know the guy. Then she fi she find she find out and uh, uh, she found out and tell me that he was Brett Pokamoto. I'm like, really? Yeah. Yes. That's how That's I, yeah. uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, Zion Williamson. Uh, I know you've been, you know, really, uh, you know, supporting him, and it, it must be very cool to see him, uh, such a high NBA draft pick. Have you actually spoken to him, or is it just that you you just been posting this stuff on social media? No, I haven't uh, spoken to him yet. He's my uh, missing brother, yes. so he get lost, <laughs> yeah. and now we have to we have to. Uh, uh, regroup the family. <laughs> right. But it must, it must be pretty cool seeing him achieve the success like, like yourself and you know, really make waves in the U.S. Yes, I mean, uh, yes, it's, it's very cool. And uh, what is uh, cooler is to see how entertaining these guys. You know, I'm not a huge basketball fan. Okay. I'm not like, you know, but when you see this guy play, you're like, okay, what is basketball? You, you want to understand exactly what's happened out there. So is he making you a fan of basketball? He definitely, yes. I mean, like, uh, I was watching uh, uh, two weeks ago, I was watching the UFC draft, the NF, uh, N NBA, NBA yeah. draft. Yes. Something, I didn't know what was NBA drafted <laughs> before, yeah. but I just heard that uh, they're going to be drafted after the college, this is going to happen. I just find out that thing, I'm like, I feel excited about it. Yes. Uh, you should, I, I take it you've never been to an NBA game before? No, no, no. Never. You should ask for the UFC, see if they can hook you up with tickets next time you do like a media tour. Get, get to go, because I'm sure I'm sure you'd like to see Zion play in person. I will see him. Yeah. You know, I'm going to have the family seat in the NBA game. There you go. Thank you so much for the time.